You're probably thinking of ordering from Proper Cloth and you want to know if it's worth it. I recently received my first order from Proper Cloth and in this video I will go over the quality, the design options, the ordering process and some important considerations for your first order. You probably know that Proper Cloth are famous for their shirts, but they now offer much more than that. You can get suits, sweaters, pants, coats and even accessories and underwear. I know a couple of people who absolutely love their Proper Cloth shirts, so I was super excited to try them. Now I want you to know that even though this is a partnered video and I did receive the clothes from Proper Cloth, this is 100% my honest opinion. I'm not required to give a positive review or to send them the video before publishing. That being said, let's take a look at the shopping experience first. And let's start with the price. If you're in the United States, then shirts start at around $90, sport coats at around $440 and suits at $695. And this is a pretty fair price for a shirt because if you look at an off-the-rack shirt from Brooks Brothers or Ralph Lauren, it's pretty much going to be the same price, but then it's the standard sizing and without any modifications. Prices are going to be different depending on your location because in Germany, for example, all of the prices are a bit higher than the US prices. And another important thing is that in most cases, you don't have to pay any extra import duties, but it would be best to check the info for your country. Shipping times, of course, also depend on your location, but for the United States, it's generally two to three weeks for shirts and casual pants and up to four weeks for suits, jackets and dress pants. In my case, it took about two weeks for the jacket and the trousers and four weeks for the shirt. And that was shipped to Germany. The ordering process for the shirts starts by either selecting one of the base models, like an Oxford cloth button-down shirt, or you can also also directly go to the configurator and start by selecting a fabric. Next up, you can start customizing your shirt anywhere you want. For example, there are 35 different color types that you can choose from. You can choose the color type, the cuffs, the buttons and much more. And once you're happy, you move on to the most important steps and that's the measurements. You can also create measurements before ordering, but I think most people who go through the online process are going to do it at this moment. And here you have quite a few options. You can choose to go from standard sizes or you can also measure your body or a shirt that fits you well. You can go through the smart size questionnaire or you can even send them a shirt so they can measure it for you. The ideal case of course would be if you can go to the New York store to get measured in person but for me that was not possible because I live very far away. So I decided to go through the smart size process and then once I was done with that I fine-tuned the measurements a little bit based on the shirt and a jacket that I already had. And an important note is that please keep in mind that you don't want to rush this step. Really take your time to go through this process and measure properly because proper cloth does offer free alterations or even complete remix for the first order but I think we all would prefer if the first order would fit as good as possible. Keep in mind though that in general with any custom online order your first order can be viewed almost as a trial order. So once the company has your sizing right you can just keep on reordering. This also means that if you're ordering a shirt or a suit for an important event such as a wedding I would highly recommend you to at least plan in an additional two to three weeks just in case if there's any issues with the shipping or if you have to make alterations. If you want to stay on the really cautious side then maybe even add an extra four to five weeks just just in case if they have to remake the entire item. Once you're done with the measurements, you can add a couple more details. For example, you can add extra room for a watch or you can adjust for a forward neck or sloped shoulders. And after that, you just place your order and wait for the items. And here's what I ordered. I decided to go for three different items. I went for a sport coat, a casual shirt and a pair of trousers. For the shirt, I chose this light blue indigo chambray shirt. I went for a soft president spread color, mother of pearl buttons and no pocket. And keep in mind that proper cloth does adjust the shirt dimension for shrinkage, so this is the size after I already washed it three times and I personally love it. The fabric feels really good and I think that the color and texture looks very interesting and I can freely move my arms without restrictions. Overall I have to say that I'm very impressed that this is the fit right out of the box on the first try. There's no adjustments on it yet. The only thing I noticed is that the color is slightly too large. You can see when I close the top button it's a little bit loose. Other than that it fits perfectly. The shirt that I chose cost 155 euros which is roughly around 165 dollars. But keep in mind that this is the price for Germany and US prices are going to be lower than that. For the trousers, I went for white cotton and linen dress pants and I added a couple of nice details such as side adjusters, brown horn buttons, single pleats and a two inch cuff. And again, I'm very impressed that it fits perfectly on the first try. I personally think that the trousers look amazing and the Japanese fabric feels really high quality. The pants cost 250 euros, which is about $267. Again, German prices. 
For the sport coat, I went for a light summer one in a linen silk cotton blend with a gun check pattern. And I decided to go for a four inch notch lapel. I went for a soft half canvas construction and quarter lined since this is supposed to be a summer jacket. And by default, you also always get working buttons. And I'm very impressed with the way it fits and feels. I love the color and the pattern of the jacket and it's very light and breathable. The price was 661 euros, which is $707. But this fabric was also on sale. It was down from 900 euros. So it's definitely one of their more premium options since sport jackets start at around $440. And in general, I was very impressed with how well everything fitted right on the first try. But keep in mind, of course, that this is my personal experience. It might be very different for somebody else. Let's take a look at what I like about the whole experience and what I think could be improved. And let's start with the positives. First, one thing that I like is that proper cloth makes it very difficult to make poor choices. And what I mean by that is that I've seen other websites or also tailoring shops where you can go for neon orange suits, for example, or some really weird patterns similar to Versace, for example. So with proper cloth, I actually really appreciate that their selection features only a little bit more maybe conservative options. Because if you look at the fabrics for the suits, for example, or the trousers, you really cannot go wrong with any of them. Secondly, I think it has to be said that the website is very well done. If you click on the button down shirts, for example, every single color also has a photo with a model who's actually wearing it. And this just makes it super easy to imagine how it's going to look on an actual person. Because I've also seen some other shops where the pictures are either quite blurry or they look like they are stock photos or made by AI. So in this case, it's very convenient to get a good overview of the final product. And of course, the live view when you're designing a shirt makes it really easy to imagine what the final product is going to look like. Another thing that I like is that they only offer high quality fabrics. So you won't find any suits or jackets made from polyester or any cheap fabrics. They do offer some suits that have 2% elastane, but I do think that that range is totally acceptable and they also don't try to hide it. For me, I'm very happy with the quality of the items that I got and I think they are definitely worth their price. Another thing that I like is the transparent pricing because I've seen some shops where the suits and the shirts start at a very low price, but then you have to pay extra for pretty much every tiny detail that you add. So in the end, it could be that the suit cost you double from what you saw in the beginning. So I really like that here you basically only pay for some very obvious extras. For example, if you want to have a monogram or if you want to switch from a half canvas to a full canvas construction. But you don't have to pay extra for different types of lapels, for example, or for different types of lining. But one thing that a couple of people pointed out online is that you do have to pay extra for mother of pearl buttons, even with their $200 shirts. And in my opinion, I agree that at that price point, you would normally expect mother of pearl buttons. But overall, I think the pricing is pretty fair. Another thing I like that can be very handy is that they have really good lookbooks. So they have right now one for spring, for example. And if you normally have a hard time combining different items together, for example, then you can go through the lookbooks and you can chop the entire look. And this is actually also what I've done for this video because I saw this one outfit that I really liked and I looked at the different items and I decided to go for the entire outfit. And one of the biggest benefits of proper cloth, of course, are how many options we have available. For the shirts, for example, you can choose from over 400 different fabrics, 35 different color types, 12 different cuffs, 12 different pocket types, and so on. And if you're someone who likes to get really granular with designing your shirts, then you're going to absolutely love this. Another thing that I noticed that's very convenient is the way you can save your favorites. Because the standard practice in most shops is that you can save your sizes, but with proper cloth, you can go a step further than that. And you can even save all of your design choices. Because as you saw in the beginning, the customization process is pretty complex. And if you were to go through the whole thing every single time, it can take a little bit of time. But with proper cloth, you can actually save different shirt types. So if, for example, you know that you always like a specific color type or a different cuff, then you can save that as a design and you can always reuse it in the future. And then last but not least is their perfect fit guarantee. They guarantee that for your first order, if it doesn't fit, they will either take care of all alterations or even remake the entire item if needed. And I've read a lot of reviews online from customers who said that the customer service is top notch and they helped them to get everything right on the first order. Now let's move on to the negatives. One area that could be improved concerns primarily the custom suits and the pants. Proper cloth was initially focused mainly on shirts and this is something that you can also notice in the ordering process. Because compared to the shirts, you have a lot less customization options available. For example, with sport coats, the maximum width for notch lapels is 4 inches and for peak lapels, you cannot choose the width at all. You also have limited options for the fabric of the lining and you cannot choose the type of side adjusters for trousers, for example. So compared to shirts, the options are much more limited 
And I know that a lot of people, for example, enjoy being able to decide on the lapel width and also the different lining options. And this is something where you're a little bit limited at this current stage. And you also don't have the live view available from the shirts. So any modifications that you make to a suit jacket, for example, you don't see it on the final garment, which can make it a bit more difficult for some people to actually imagine how it's going to look like in the end. Now, I'm pretty sure that they're working on this. And by the time that you're watching this video, this information might be outdated, but I still think it's worth noting. And then secondly, as I mentioned already, the default button are not Mother of Pearl, so you do have to pay extra for real Mother of Pearl buttons, even when you're ordering a $200 shirt. And I think if you spend $200 on a shirt, you normally expect it to have real Mother of Pearl buttons. So in conclusion, is proper cloth worth it? In my opinion, if you like high quality shirts that fit you well and that come with a ton of customization options, proper cloth is amazing for that. I think that the quality of the fabrics and the choices you have are fantastic, especially at that price point. And they're really trying their best to make sure you have a great first experience. I'm personally very happy with the item and with the entire ordering process and I would definitely order from them again. But if you place your order, please let me know your experience below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.